Welcome to our channel again. Consider a real life situation where there is a bank providing basic functions like deposit, withdraw and transfer. As a programmer, you have to decide the data members and create methods for providing functionality or behavior to the class. So what can be the data members of a bank class? So the first and the primary one is account number, which can act as a primary key also. Then name of the account holder and last but not the least balance. After creating the three data members, you have to create the functionality by defining the methods like we have done in the past also. Set data to initialize the data members and show data to display the current values of the data members. And you have to define methods for the basic features of the bank. For example, deposit, withdraw and transfer. Okay, let's see the code for that. So I've created a bank class with the required three data members that are account number, balance and name. I've taken the respective data types as int, float and string. And now the second thing that is to define the methods of the class or the behavior of the class. So first one is set data that is basically used to initialize the data we have done in the past also and show data to display the values at any moment of time. Then I've created two more methods void deposit and void withdraw. Now let's see how they are behaving. Deposit is working very simply that whatever value you will pass the float x value will be added to the current balance of the object which will be calling the deposit method right now what is the use of this keyword this dot balance now this keyword is used as a reference to the current object so whatever object which is calling this deposit method will be present here so let's say obj1 is calling the deposit method so it will be obj1 dot balance equal to the value of the current balance and the value of x which will be added and will be stored to the balance right and then word withdraw again you have to pass some value but now you have to check it that if that value x is greater than the balance then cannot withdraw means there will be a message that the demanded amount of balance or you can say rupees cannot be withdrawn because they are more than the current balance right but if they are not then what you simply can do you can simply say balance equal to balance minus x so i hope you have understood now let's create two objects there is transfer method also but i'll explain it to you in a while let's create the objects first and see how the deposit and withdraw are behaving so you have to create another class you have to create a public static void main you have to create two objects that is obj1 obj2 you can create other names also like ram sham or uh, mohit and rohit any friend's name you can take so obj1 dot set data the first one why you are using this you have to initialize the data members so that you can really work on them right so the name is vishal the balance is 5000 and account number is 1001 right and what amount you are going to deposit to it that is obj1 dot deposit 200 rupees so 200 will be added to 5000 and it will be 5200 we'll see that in the output this obj1 will display all the current details right and now obj2 dot set data which will initialize the second object that is rahul and balance as 8000 and account number as 1002 obj2 dot withdraw now i am withdrawing 500 rupees from 8000 rupees can i do it yes the required amount is less than the current balance so it will allow us so the remaining balance will be 7500 so we'll see when obj2 dot show data call will take place so let's save this program and try to run this so open your cmd and type java c test bank dot java so it is successfully compiled then java test bank and run so as you can see name is vishal account number is 101 and the balance is 5200 here and for the second object name is rahul account number is 1002 and the remaining balance is 7500 500 rupees deducted from here 200 rupees added to this account so obj1 is representing vishal obj2 is represented by rahul so now let's consider the same situation that rahul and vishal 
both are now the objects of the bank class same class and now rahul wants to transfer some amount to vishal's account so will rahul be able to do it let's see now come to the transfer method this is very important here what we have done here we have passed the reference b2 bank b2 and the amount which is to be transferred so now what will happen now let's see what we have done we have set obj1 as vishal 5000 and 1001 as account number and obj2 as rahul basic amount as 8000 and account number is 1002 and obj2 dot transfer 1000 rupees to obj1 means rahul will transfer some amount of money to vishal's account and then we can print the current values by calling the show data respectively right so now what you are passing to transfer method you are passing obj1 and 1000 rupees as the transfer amount so obj2 is the calling object and obj1 is the passed object passed means the object which is passed as an argument right so let's come to the definition so who is calling the transfer method it is obj2 and what will be the value of b2 now b2 will be the real object obj1 which is representing the vishal's account right and what will be t t will be this 1000 rupees right so now let's see if balance is greater than equal to t transfer is in progress means if the current balance now what is balance here bal this bal is of this account obj2 now what is obj2 obj2 is rahul's account the value of the balance is 8000 now is 8000 greater than 1000 yes the transfer is possible what if i pass 10000 here if you want to transfer 10000 rupees from account having only 8000 as balance it is not possible so we'll say insufficient balance in that case for this we need to add return keyword after the statement in the else block or you can simply write these two lines inside the if block right but now it is possible to transfer the money so you simply you can have a label transfer in progress and what you can do you can simply say balance equal to balance minus t now what else you can do here what better you can do here this dot balance now this will help you to understand that this is the balance of obj2 which is calling the method right and this balance is again of obj2 which is taking the deduction means rahul is calling the transfer method and from rahul account 8000 minus 1000 will happen means this will be like 8000 minus 1000 and what will be the result it is 7000 which will be finally stored to balance of which object obj2 and what is this b2 i have already explained what is b2 b2 is actually obj1 that you have passed here and now what will happen obj1 dot balance now what is obj1 dot balance is the balance of vishal's account right So, obj one dot balance. What is that? It is five thousand. So five thousand plus t means it will be acting like five thousand plus one thousand, which will be giving you six thousand as an answer. So this transfer method will take place, and finally you can view the final result by calling a method called as obj one dot show data, obj two dot show data. So let's see. So now let's say file save and go to your CMD. Again compile the file and then execute it. Now you can see transfer in progress. As I've told you, account number is one zero one and the remaining balance is six thousand for Vishal and for Rahul it is seven thousand. Thousand rupees is deducted from Rahul's account and is being transferred to Vishal's account. So I hope you have understood the program. I've given the code as a link you can download the code also and try to practice this program as it is very useful for understanding concepts like this keyword class and methods and the behavior of class and objects so guys in this program we have understood the use of methods how to declare and define a method what is the syntax of a method and how to call the methods in the next video we will discuss topics like declaration of methods static and non static methods method prototype or signature pure and impure methods pass by value 
pass by reference returning values from the methods use of multiple methods and more than one method in the same name that is polymorphism and method overloading thank you for watching